Hey, I wanted to do a quick video showing you uh, the new nail gun case that I made. And it's made out of 3 8 inch OSB. I painted it white and then I tried to make it look old. And it's a clamshell design that opens up on either side. I'm using it for my nail guns and I'll show you how it opens. It's got a latch on the top here that lifts up and then both sides fold down. And it's got all three of my nail guns in there. And like I said, the best thing about this design is accessibility. Um, real quickly, you can get anything in the case. I'm eventually going to make a spot that will hold the oil, uh, the lubricating oil, but a simple just latch design that will get the nail guns out and hold them in. Um, the hinges are just uh, drywall screws put through here. I could have used real hinges. One problem I noticed with using the screws is you had to leave a large gap. Uh, to give it room to open and there's the, the latch I made out of aluminum and a, and a screw and I have a copper handle <clears throat> and here it is from the other side here's the same type of latch for the center nail gun um, I cut this out of just two by fours Fit it to fit around the handle and just simply lock it in place and so far it's been fine. Alright, so I'll quickly try to go through and show you uh, how I built all this. I didn't do any videos while I was building it, but I did take some pictures. And it started with this. This is my 18 gauge Bostitch nail gun. Um, it's I have uh, this this size nail gun, uh, um, a staple gun that's the same size and then I have a 16 gauge uh, nail gun so I measured them all and I realized they could all fit in size of uh, a milk crate so I, I started with that shape and then I I was looking around trying to find the right case and I uh, came across this clamshell design and I thought a quick way to decide whether I liked it or not was to build it out of cardboard so over about 20 minutes I cut out all the shapes and I made two different versions. I made one that was square and one that was tapered at the top to decide which one I liked. And I kind of went back and forth and you can see here how they open up on either side for accessibility into the entire case. And I knew that I wanted the two smaller nail guns to mount on the side and the larger one to mount in the center. Um, and after I looked at both of these different versions I ended up going with the square case just uh, for simplicity easier to build I wasn't really saving any space going with the tapered design so I went with the square version and the first thing I did was uh, I decided to use OSB since it's real simple real cheap um, it's the cheapest wood you can get it's cheaper than plywood I went I think it's half inch or three eighths inch um, it's not the nicest looking thing. If you want it, I think maybe looking back, I probably would have gone with, you know, some uh, a nicer plywood. But it, I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. So I just uh, started with OSB, and I used a table saw, which made the cuts a lot nicer, a lot straighter. So I cut this basic framework out, and I used a, a copper handle. I probably should have used wood. It would have looked nicer again. If I were to do it over, I would use a wood handle, maybe tapered and uh, dovetail it into the sides. And then I made these side walls. These are the, the doors that fold out. And you can see I cut out a spot for uh, for the hand to reach in and grab the handle, those crescent shapes. And the four blocks on the bottom are for the hinge points where the uh, drywall screws go through the side and into that. And like I said, if I were to do it again, I would use um, I would use regular hinges. I wouldn't use this, the single screw on either side. It's not very strong. I don't like the gap at the bottom. I would have changed that. Um, the next thing I was trying to decide on how I was going to hold the nail guns to the side and the center and I thought it would be I thought I needed to have a really uh, close shape to the inside of the handle so I traced it out exactly and I cut it out and I realized after a couple more versions it didn't need to be that accurate I could have used a square piece of wood but I kinda went with this oblong kinda real rough shape everything rounded over in the center and that seemed to work the best it held it fine and here I just used uh, some weights and wood glue and that's how I attached it to the side and so far it's been great so at this point I had the basic shape everything worked everything folded up but the inside was uh, needed some more work so uh, you can see here that 
the nail guns had their position and I attached a 2x4 in the center to where I was going to mount the larger nail gun. Um, but now I needed to make the hardware and the first set of hardware I made was the latch for the top. I originally wanted to use uh, neodymium magnets. I thought that would be cool how it would just come up and latch you know, automatically but I've, it turned out that I had some large magnets and some steel but that wasn't enough so I had to make this simple aluminum latch. It's just a screw at one end, a screw at the other to uh, lock around and a handle that I tapped and screwed in there. Um, and I did that same concept on the inside. You can see here that um, just a real simple aluminum bar with a screw and the key was to tension it, not too tight that you couldn't turn it but not too loose that it swung, swung down. You can see I also did it for the center and they just swivel up, swivel down and it works really well. So at this point I was done. I decided to paint it white just because I had a couple of paints, uh, uh, cans of white paint in the basement. So I put two coats of white paint and uh, two coats of polyurethane to protect it. And then I decided I didn't really like just the white so I wanted to weather it. I've tried weathering before on a uh, toolbox I made and some other things and it really gives it character and life. And I hadn't done it with this OSB board but when you weather stuff it really stands out in all the the paint and whatever you're using. I use brown paint and black paint and Adam Savage on Tested. Uh, his website, he, he's used coffee. He has a great tutorial on how to how to weather things. You just get it dirty and then wipe it off. And so I used this just regular black paint at first and I got it in. I wetted everything down then I wiped the paint on and wiped it right off. And then I used brown paint. You can see I got the insides and every corner and um, and that really brought gave the, the case a character and not just a plain old white case so um, I did every uh, corner got it all covered and I really like the way it turned out and so far it's been really nice to have the nail guns in one place the box is nice and solid it holds them in place and I still haven't finished where I'm going to attach the uh, the lubricating oil and extra nails I might make a, a compartment inside there right now I just have them thrown in there but um, I really like how it turned out, and I, I think I'm going to try to make use this design again for a toolbox or something like that. But it's for accessibility; it it can't be beat for how easily it opens and you can get into everywhere. Okay, but that's it. Um, real simple, real easy. Not a lot of moving parts. Great accessibility, and you could use it for a toolbox if you wanted oil, but it works great. And hope you like it.